Hi, I'm Sherry, and I'm going to show you what I have come up with for the choices for my son's American government course. He will be a senior next year, and that is when I do the course with our children. I think it's probably the best time the kids are old enough to grasp some of these heavier concepts, and they can also partake in some really good discussions. So, uh, some people will do it first and then do economics. We do economics first. That's just as a preference in our home, but hey, you do you and we'll do us. Now that said, we are also Christian, and so I will try and find material that will come from a God point of view. If you're not a Christian, there's plenty of other materials out there that can provide a secular or totally benign point of view. Some of the material in here I would say would be benign. It can go either way. I think it is important to um, really give our kids a solid foundation um, in the three branches and how laws are passed and how people are elected and then go from there. If you have a child who definitely is bent on a political career, then you're going to have to beef this up. For us, this one, I think everything I've chosen should work. Uh, I know there's a lot of prepackaged deals that you can get like through Sunlight or Heart of Dakota or My Father's World, etc., they have it all laid out for you with a study guide and their choices, and that's fine. Normally, I probably would have done that, but because I have some materials, I didn't want to go buy new ones that weren't going to quite fit. And I'm at the point now where I can pull together a course pretty easily, and I will discuss that in a completely different video, how I go about it. And it doesn't just apply to like government or econ. It can apply to any subject. So I'll cover that. Look for that soonish. I'm working as fast as I can to get these done around, you know, life. But this is what I have picked, and I'm, again, looking for a one-semester course. Some of the other companies, it says a semester, but I'm telling you right here now, with this particular child, it would turn into like a three-year odyssey. Um, sometimes I think there's too much material in most of these companies' government courses, and frankly, I think it's overkill. They are going to have to take it in college again. Just keep that in mind. If they don't go on to a uh, typical college route of extra education, well, okay, fine. But they should still have a good basis. And I'm thinking what I got here for my son will do it. Now, this Painless American Government by Jeffrey Stosser is by Barron's. And as it says right here, this is exactly what I was looking for. I was looking for a book that wasn't boring or dull or dry because, let's face it, government can be. I like that it has um, some nice graphics. It's easy to understand. It has these little questions, quizzes at the end. It has the answers in the back. It covers all the branches. It covers civic, uh, civil rights. It covers um, how laws are passed. In depth, no, but it's a really good springboard and that is what I will use in conjunction with this one over here. So if you're uh, looking for something, this is probably a good idea. I just read the reviews on Amazon and I fell in love with it. It does say 6th uh, to 8th grade, but I don't ever let those ages bother me. I can tell you right now there's plenty of adults who could even answer those questions. Now here's another one that I have used with all of my kids. Some people do kind of have a problem with Uncle Eric books. I don't. If you do, then just don't use them. Um, I find that uh, it's informative, and uh, you know what? I've taught my kids that there is no book, even if it's one you wrote, because down the way, you know, you could change your mind and your thoughts and stuff change. Um, there's no book out there that's going to completely agree with you and your mindset at the time you're reading it. So keep that in mind, and it's good for the kids to understand that. And it's good for them to see other people's views. Now, this one will cover basically if they need to know if they're conservative or liberal or confused. And then it has questions in here. It takes, whoopsie. It takes you through several chapters. And the nice thing is you can purchase a guide. Now, I don't use the guide the way maybe a classroom setting would. You can copy off the questions. Boy, this is not easy doing it with one hand here. Okay, so you would have some um, discussion questions, and then further reading helps, and then it will ask you, like, you know, you can do like a worksheet. Usually for my son, we just do it verbally. That's plenty good for me. Um, 
I try not to over test either. I think that's because it's too easy and I'm speaking from experience to be really good at knowing the material for the test and then walking out the door and completely forgetting what you just learned. So again, that's a whole nother video. All right, so those are two and these I would say are just benign, can go either way. Now this one is something that my daughter had for college because the time on the date here is correct. Um, you know what, I can use this as reference. If there's something I don't have any information on, I'm sure I'll be able to find it in here. That is just, again, reference. Now through some research and such, and I will talk about that in the other video, how I came to this one. Well, real quick here on this, the 411 is that I went through different sites, looked and saw what they recommended, and then I narrowed it down to a couple got them from the library if I could. If not, I went to the website and checked them out. And this one kept coming back to me. I showed this in my curriculum haul. I'll put the card up there. This was bought used, so I'm not going to be out a lot of money if I don't get too much use out of it, whatever. But this is Christian based, and I really like, this is the older version, I really like where it went. Um, I will use this more as a backbone. I'm not going to have them read every single thing in each chapter, but we will definitely cover a lot of these topics and then um, bounce off into these other books. So like here's Choosing the Senate and it talks about how it was, ooh, I just noticed that one's kind of ripped. Um, you know, down in, like I said, I, I kind of like what I'm seeing here and it covers what it should and in the end, he should walk away with a good idea of how it works. Now, another thing I do like to do, I like to add in some videos because one, I think it's another great way to learn, and two, it just adds a little bit of an element of difference and fun. I don't know if you've ever heard of this, but this one is actually kind of a comedy. It's kind of cute, definitely silly. Um, it's called Harry's War, and it says here, if you hate paying taxes, you'll love it. Um, apparently... If my memory serves me correctly, he's um, taxed ridiculously and he decides to go on a uh, boycott but a, um, for them keep coming to take his property, I believe. It's hilarious. The fun thing is it does have Karen Grassel in it who played uh, Ma Ingalls in the Little House on the Prairie series. And it's just funny, and, and but yet in, in a way it really does kind of teach you how sometimes the government can overreach. And so that's the one I had my kids watch. And yes, I still have a VHS player. Now the other one I really like is Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. I just got this from the library. But this Z Guide um, by ZZOC Publishing needs an ebook. You can, I'll link it down below. You can purchase these from them. If you've never heard of them, I'll have some other books that I will showcase and some other videos. It's a really good company. It's Christian based though, so keep that in mind. This is the high school level. I think they have it for lower. So you watch the movie and then while you're doing it, you also will have like questions and discussion questions. And I think you even have some, maybe some activities and things that you can do. And when you're done, you can also give a grade, a more in-depth grade, or you can just watch the movie. But I think it's kind of fun to have this and I did um, this with my third child when she was in high school and she really enjoyed it. It was a review item I did way back when but definitely check them out. I'll, again I'll put the link down below for you. And you can't have your homemade course without your um, little study guide worksheet thing and since I do Happy Planner I went ahead and punched it then laminated it and then I'm going to have to come back in and just cut them out by hand because I'm not putting it through my punch. It'll ruin it. But then I'll put the rings on, and then more than likely I'll put his questions in there and anything else that he needs. Um, if there's something from here, I might run off. It'll all be in here with a schedule for him to refer to during his course. And that, my friends, is what we are going to be doing. I could certainly add more if I feel like I need to beef it up a little bit, but I think between these two books, we should have a pretty good program. Now, um, again, this is not about your political views. Um, it's about understanding how the government is supposed to work. Then you can talk about political views, but I think it's important to have that basis of how it was originally designed to work. And there you go. Um, this does have a companion book. I did not purchase it. I talked about that in the review. It has um, some of the sources that it talks about, but I can access the main ones that I want to cover from other sources, but you could get in that as well. 
So there you have it. This is what we're going to do. Questions or comments, leave them down below. Again, look for some of these fun movies if you can uh, through your library or through um, used sources. And um, until next time, folks, take care.